Let's go ahead and try out this pineapple. When you're on the island, any island, their pineapple here on the islands is by far different than any other pineapple that you're going to taste. Absolutely delicious. Even Gilligan's Island? Mm hmm. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. We are back in Hawaii yes. on the island of Oahu. Yes, our vacation time. Yes. Uh, first thing, we just got off the plane and mm -hmm. we got a cool Mustang. So, yeah, it's almost like the one I have, except this is like a, a four banger, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think Still, it is. Still, it's all good. That's cool. Yeah, so our first priority is to get some brunch. Yes, yeah, so we are here on a Sunday, so we're able to catch a lot of these brunch spots that are mm -hmm. only open on Sundays. Yes. So we are at the... Uh, it's called the Bird of Paradise. Yes, at the Hawaii Prince Golf Club. In Eva Beach. In Eva Beach. Uh, yes. There's uh, on Apple Maps and on Open Table. The address is wrong. Be yeah. sure to look up the Hawaii Prince well, Golf Club. Better yet, look at the description below because I'll yeah. have the address for you. Just yes. gotta click on. Yes, it. yes. So we're here for their Sunday brunch, and they even have Father's Day brunches here and Mother's Day brunches here. Right. So if you're ever on this side, Eva Beach, because everything else is in Waikiki, Honolulu, right, right. on this side. And I know you have to make reservations, which you did like a few days ago. I did. So mm -hmm. we're going to go check in and see uh, what kind of food they got. So this Sunday brunch is nestled right in the middle of the golf course. And so it's actually right next to where you pick up your golf carts. So if you come here, be sure to take the road to the middle of the golf course and you'll see the brunch spot. There's only a store here where you pick up your golf carts and the brunch today. It's the walkthrough of the buffet. We're starting out with some desserts over here. So this is closest to the door. What they do is they, they reset the buffet so they have different seating times and Lisa will explain it a little bit better. So this is all what they have here. They have a gratin potatoes. Let's go ahead and lick this. Oh, look at that. A gratin potato, taro pancakes. Oh, that's oh, pretty cool. Ass, yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, you, know yeah, how yeah, we, you know how we are. <laughs> Eggs Benedict. Oh wow. Nice. Bacon Portuguese sausage and pork links. Yeah. Oh, okay, a lot of meat mm -hmm. right there. Can we get some Portuguese sausage Pancit. for sure? Mm -hmm. Pancit? Yeah, pancit. Oh, look at that. Beautiful oh, looking. Nice, yeah. And then you have your vegetables. And then oriental barbecue ribs. Mochico chicken. Sweet chili aioli. Trag grilled chef's catch, which is ginger butter chili fried onion rings. Wow. And oh. your steamed crab legs. It looks like a dungeness, right? Yeah. That looks good. And it is hot, hot crab it legs. It is hot crab legs. And you have your drawn butter and lemon right here. Right on the outside, they have your poke right here. Oh yeah. See, open it up. They just opened, so they didn't take any of the lids off yet. Oh yeah, we have some. Here's uh, your what's the clams. Clams right here, right? That's your cucumber salad with seaweed. Your regular salad. Right. This Marinated is, mushrooms. Yeah, fried tofu salad. It's on this oh, side. Oh yeah, it's here. on this side. And some and fresh and fruit. And your fresh fruit. I'll sort of dim some. Here's your noodles. You can looks like you can do your own. Yeah, so you like get your, your bowls right here and then you can add all of your Simon toppings. Mm -hmm. This is your Simon station. Here's your clam chowder. Oh yeah, clam chowder. You gotta try it. One of my faves, right? And of course, you know I already got my crab legs since I was in line already. Yes, and you do have some fresh juice behind you. Yes, and of course, last but not least, look what they have over here. Here's your self-serve juice station, fruit punch and guava juice. There we go, now we got the rib, uh, prime rib shot. <laughs> and omelets today too? Okay, nice, thank you. Prime rib, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Hook me up, babe. You got it. Some au Because I was first in line, I had to grab the crab legs. Again, these are all-you-can-eat crab legs. I got the ahi poke and some clams. Now, of course, ahi poke is always cold, but the clams are cold too. Crab leg is warm. They have. I tried some of their dim sum, which is on the warm side, and of course, their prime rib. Yes, you got that. And I tried the uh, the pork rib and the mochiko chicken. Some little bit different. Yeah. And of course, I had to get the poke as well. Yeah. To try so it out. We're ready to dig on in. First, I gotta try this poke. Nicely cubed ahi poke, which is tuna poke. Mmm. So fresh. I guess you'll get your nice warm rice over there. And this right here could be your poke bowl. Great slivered onions. Oh, yeah. Delicious. And, of course, they're cold clams. They're done with some scallion in there. And they also, I believe, have some soy. Oh, wow. delicious clams they're nice and meaty they're a little bit on the sweet side and we're sitting outside so we have to fight with these flies out here and let me go ahead and try out this crab break this open i didn't get any drawn butter yet so we're gonna try the crab the way it is uh, they did bring you some crackers and uh, a little meat digger you want some of that yeah uh, yeah okay stand by Alrighty, let's go ahead and open these crabs up. Oh, so what's interesting while I'm opening this crab up is recommended reservations. I do not know if they take in walk-ins. They do have seating sessions. And so once one seating session is sat, then they clean up in between before a next seating session. So we got the 1230, which is their last seating section. So be sure to make your reservations. And when you come in, you're, you may be waiting, especially if you show up a little early because they will seat you at 12.30 or whichever your reservation time is. Got my crab right here. That is a sweet and juicy crab. Oh yeah, this is non drawn butter needed. This is delicious. They're nice and meaty. The meat comes out all at once. Wow. I know my Ohana wants some of this crab and we have two more chairs. Where are you guys? Yeah, you guys right should here, be right? here. This is so far turning out to be a great brunch. Prime rib time. Here we go. Seems like we've been getting a lot of prime rib lately, right? Yeah. From a couple of buff mm -hmm. a couple of buffets and we went to uh, Lori's. If you guys are keeping up, we went there last week in Vegas. So here we go, prime rib here at this buffet. I love that au jus flavor. The prime rib has great beefy flavor to it. Not the most tender, but it is not tough by any means. It's like bordering between tender and medium. So it's very good. Easy, course, look at that. And with yeah. the butter knife. Yeah, butter knife. We got a ton of au jus here, thanks to you, babe. You're welcome, babe. I love it. Uh, au jus has a little bit of ginger flavor to it, so it's really, really good. This is the way to start out our Hawaii vacation here at the, at the Bird of Paradise Buffet. Amazing. I'm going to try this rest of the stuff out. Let me give this mochiko chicken a try. Oh, it's got some nice pieces here. Look at that. It's really good. Wow, it's really good. Not as crispy if it was just freshly fried, but it has that flavor to it. It's like a sweet kind of teriyaki type of glaze on it. This would be perfect in like a bento or like a like a lunch, like a plate lunch, with your mac salad with rice and some of this mochiko chicken. It's all over, game over. Let's try out this rib. Looks like a good barbecue pork rib. Not Texas style, 
Chinese style. Oh. It tastes like that cha shu type of glaze on here. And you know what cha shu that that red barbecue pork? It is delicious. Wow. I never had like a like a rib that kind of tastes like a barbecue with cha shu flavor. This is very good. So I'm sorry my little shells are here. Here we go. Here's your siu mai. Very meaty on the inside. It's good. It tastes like a regular siu mai. All right, here's also the pot sticker. That one tasted just like a regular packaged siu mai. Here's your pot sticker. Meaty on the inside. It's like a ground pork vegetable mm -hmm. or something. A little bit chewy. It's good. Just a regular pot sticker. And of course, your think chashu bao. Yep. Chashu bao. Oh, wow. It's pretty that. meaty. It's pretty meaty for a small little chashu bao. Let's go ahead and try this one out. The chashu bao or here they call it manapua. Good meat on the inside. Regular pork manapua. You, I'm used to the really sweet tasting barbecue, Chinese barbecue on the inside. And this one is not as sweet, it's just a regular pork one. It's good, the bread is a little bit on the sweet side. Tone matches well. But I'd definitely, if I'm coming here, I definitely want to try this stuff out, but I'm here for the crab legs and all the other food. Since it is brunch, I had to get some breakfast items. I got the potatoes au gratin, their eggs benedict. I'm not sure, usually it's on like a uh, English muffin or something, but it looks like some kind of bread, very soft. I had to try the uh, taro pancake and my favorite Portuguese sausage. Let's just jump right into this taro pancake. Here we go, put a little bit of maple syrup on it. Looks good. A little bit dry. I'm glad I didn't get more than one. I'm not getting too much of the taro flavor, just a little bit. It just tastes like a like a regular pancake. So let's move on to the potatoes. I love potatoes. A little fly over there. Here we go. Very tender. Great au gratin. A little bit of cheese flavor on it. This looks interesting. The eggs been oh look. Ooh. We got a we got a good a egg good yolk break right there. With some ham. A little bit of hollandaise sauce. They, they didn't go too crazy with it. Good eggs benedict for a buffet. Yes. Let's try it out. Here we go. Everything from the ham up. Delicious. The bread is throwing things off a little bit. It's, it's almost too bready. A very thick slice of bread. But the ham it up, it's delicious. I love the holiday sauce. The egg is, is poached perfectly. And that ham, very light. Yeah, this is good. As long as it's from the bread up. I wish they would kind of use just a, a standard English muffin. I think it would have been a lot better. Of course, let's try out the Portuguese sausage out. Yep. Can't go wrong with that. Is it a spicy kind? Mild. I'm going to actually take this off and eat this with the Portuguese sausage and potatoes. And that'll be, that'll be good. We just made a fan uh, over here. One of our Ohana is here. Debbie, she gave me her lay. Yeah, How look nice at that. is that? I know. She came to say hi. So if you guys see us here, definitely come up and say hi. Oh, yeah. Now you got the right aloha welcome, babe. I did. This is from the Build Your Own Simon Bar. You put everything except for chashu, right? Because yes. you already had a lot of meat already. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious how the broth is. Good, good flavor. It's good little dashi flavor to it. Of course, you got some kamaboko, some onions, and some, uh, yeah, what are these things called? The bean sprouts. Yes. And kamaboko is fish cake. Yes, bean sprouts. Here we go. Let's try it out. Mm 
regular time in. Yeah. Very good. I wish the temperature of the soup was a little bit hotter. It's like a medium, got a medium in warmness. Did they have like a, a flame on the soup or no? Uh, they could have, they have it in a big warmer. Mm, well, they gotta, they gotta crank it up a little yeah. bit. But overall, the flavor of everything is very fresh. The bean sprouts, common book the onion. Of course, the noodles, they're good. So this is a good little side menu over here. Already, I got the fried tofu salad, which is cold. I got some, have to have some rice because I have their fish right here, which is, I believe, it's in, just in butter. Fish. And they have some of the vegetables of the day. I got their cucumber salad and some pancit. So let's go ahead and try this pancit. Pancit is a Filipino dish, huh, baby? It's yes, noodles. Uh, yeah, noodles. Mm -hmm. I like that glassy noodle that taste is really good this one i believe is meatless in this pan sip i don't have pan sit a lot so i can't really compare it to anything but it's a good kind of like a kind of like a sweet sweet kind of sesame flavor <laughs> noodles are kind of a sweet sesame flavor Let's go try this cold salad, which is the cucumber and the seaweed salad. Delicious. Very Asian Hawaiian. It is pickled. Yeah, it's like a Japanese cucumber. So it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And then let's try this fish of the day. Mmm. That is a good fish. Little rice. Oh yeah. This is really good. I recommend the fish. It's a very hearty fish. The flavoring, very butter. Yeah, this is a really good fish. And it's sitting right next to the crab legs. This second plate is a winner. I had to go back and get the best of for me, which is the poke, the mochiko chicken, and those ribs. I got a little bit of rice. These are my favorites so far at the buffet. And, and you know, the primary was good, but I think I'm gonna save some room for dessert after this. So when you come and if it's your birthday, or if you're celebrating anything, they bring you out some ice cream. So I got the ube, they also have vanilla available too. This is their ube ice cream. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, it's nice and purpley. Mm. Very sweet. Not very sweet, but ice cream sweet. Delicious. It's, it's interesting. It tastes like a. It tastes like a macadamia nut cookie. <laughs> I don't know. I know I've tasted ube before, but this one's really good. It tastes like macadamia nut cookie. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. For the desserts, I got one of each, except for the croissants and muffins, which they did have on the side. So this is what they have. This is a, looks like a chocolate macadamia, maybe. Some I see kind of something hapia, un think? underneath. Yeah. This is a hapia. This is their prince bread pudding. It's got a prince bread pudding. And they had a vanilla sauce on top of it. It's a flan. Not sure, maybe a, some sort of cheesecake. And then an ube. And it's a fresh fruit. And you have to have the fresh fruit while you're here. Oh, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's dig in. Let's try out some of this stuff here. We're not sure what this is. We think it's a cheesecake. Let's try it out. Cheesecake, but it has some kind of a, almost like a like a little koi oh. on top, a little passion fruit flavor mm -hmm. to it. It's really good. And this flan. Only thing that's missing is more of that caramel sauce, mm -hmm. right? But the flavor is there, and the texture is very good. And this bread pudding, the Prince. Yeah, people were getting this and putting that that vanilla sauce all over it. Really? Wow. Okay, it looks really good out here. Very good. 
it looks the sweetest among the three, but it's not. It's, it's actually the least sweetness, believe it or not. Mm. So it's very good. And you could try these other three, babe. Okay. This is like their halpia jello. Halpia is uh, coconut, like a coconut jello. Mm. Very slightly sweet. Great coconut flavor in that. Go ahead and let's try this one out. This one has nuts mm. on the bottom. Macadamia nut. Macadamia nut chocolate cake. <clears throat> this is delicious. I'm used to a really kind of really thick crust. This crust is so light. This is absolutely stunning. And then let's do this ube. Great cream cheese texture. It actually tastes like a cream cheese ube. I have a feeling this is a uh, an ube cream cheese type cake. That is delicious. Are you getting any kind of like sweet potato flavor to no, that? No, not at all. It's just more of the cream cheese flavor of it. Sweet potato, maybe this because of the color, but I don't taste any sweet potato in that. That's a wrap for the Bird of Paradise Buffet. Yes, yes, and it's, it's such a beautiful day, nice breeze, Yes, as you can see. The way I found this buffet is be, I was looking for a, a brunch, since we're here for Sunday. The other ones, the, um, what was that one, the orchid uh, one? The orchid one? Yeah, 100 that, sales. 100 sales, they're completely booked. And so, because we, we, you know, we plan our trips a little bit uh, not as far in advance as some right. other people. So I was looking for one, especially near where we're staying. Of course, we're going to Ko'olina. So if you know what's in Ko'olina, you know where we're staying. Yeah. And so I was Surprise. looking. I know. And so I was looking for somewhere closer to here. So I saw the one in Eva Beach. Right. That we give it a try. It was getting four and a half stars. And you know what? In case you're wondering how far this uh, spot, this buffet spot is to like Ala Moana Mall in Waikiki. Mm -hmm. It's a 35 minute drive. Yeah. I, I just mapped it out. I think it was like 16 miles or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it is a little bit off if you're staying in Honolulu area. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a drive to come over here, mm -hmm. but I really enjoyed it. I think it hit its price point. Yes. Uh, the majority of the food was very good, especially yes. that, that poke. That, that was excellent yes and they do have seating sessions as i was saying but i was seeing other people walking in because the kitchen is open to like three and, and just getting like a regular lunch because it right. is a golf course and so yes. people come and get lunches just regular lunch here yeah you can order off the menu if you want or do the buffet option if they right. have right. room but right? the buffet was closing an hour and a half after we sat so we sat at 12 30 the buffet they were just doing a last call for the buffet at two right so it's a two o'clock right now, baby. But I, I'm done. I'm it's stuffed. Good. Yeah, and it was a really good price. Oh yeah. Those other ones, I know they're over a hundred dollars. I think the hundred sales and the other ones, this one, much cheaper. Yeah. This one was worth it. It may I be thought. smaller, but smaller. it had everything we liked. Yes, and right? less crowd. Even oh, yeah. I can see this dining room be busy, at, but yet you will still not wait in line at the buffet line. I didn't have to wait for anything. Mm -hmm. I just picked up my food and poop. I yeah, and even at the busiest times, there was a small line, but I mean, no more than five minutes, maybe. Yeah. Huh, it was really nice. And it's too bad we don't play golf because it looks like a real nice it's course over beautiful here. Here. Yeah. beautiful here. Yeah, do you have any shout outs? I do. Congratulations, Scott and Lisa. Happy honeymoon. Happy honeymoon. T, happy 60th birthday. Amanda, happy birthday. Josie, happy birthday. David, happy birthday. Clyde and Ruth, happy anniversary. Happy birthday and happy anniversary, guys. And thank you so much for Debbie for my yeah, lay. Yes, yes. It's, and for saying hi to us here. And it's a fresh one, too. It is, yeah, it is. Not a little plastic one. No, no, no. It's a fresh right. one. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel because we are just starting our little vacation here. So yes. you want to see where we go and where we stay and you don't want to miss an episode. Yep, you know how our adventures are. When you become here to this brunch, be sure to... Um, get Teodora and Roland. They're the ones that helped us today. Yeah, they were fantastic. Yes, they are. Yes, so stay tuned until our next Hawaii adventure. We'll catch you guys on the next one.